So can we just tell everyone, because we've got a new group here, what Spill the Tea is? Yeah. Spill the Tea originated from some mic drop moment you had ages ago where you, I think you said, bring light to shame. I I, I know like I'm paraphrasing another quote, but it's something yeah. like, let it out. Give you gotta it spill light. the tea. You got to spill the tea. That's right. Spill the tea. That's what it came from. And listen, I always, um, I assimilate all the great works of, of all the people I've studied and the person who's done the deepest and the most profound work I have found on shame is Brene Brown. And I think I, I paraphrased it. I said it a different way, but you know, basically what I found when I was out, you remember this Cordy, when I was out on my book tour and I didn't want to go because I'm like, I got to talk about stuff. Ew. And I got to share myself. Ew. And suddenly I was in Manhattan. The, you know, if you're, if you're not from there and you don't live there, it's scary. And I'm in a cab and going from place to place doing these interviews. And all of a sudden I had this overwhelming feeling that, oh my gosh, so wild. The more I trust, the more I talk about it, the better I feel, the more I like myself, the more I feel released. And uh, so that's when we were, we were doing diddly doing around on something court. And I was just like, you got to spill the tea. Yep. You got to spill the tea. You got to talk about some of the things you don't want to talk about. And that is the beginning of the new future that you want to create for yourself. So spill the tea. We just let you send in your questions (laughs) and Courtney hosts me and in I come. And I just listen, not from an expert point of view, because that I'm an expert on me and my path of transformation and my struggles and my roller coaster life. So I, I don't come in as an expert. I come in as somebody who's made a lot of mistakes and who has done a lot of listening and studenting and is walking the path. Yeah. Walking the path of transformation in my way. So I answer from that point of view. And I just, for anyone who's listening, who doesn't know this, because Sherry will never tell you because Sherry is just Sherry. Sherry was the executive producer of the Oprah Winfrey show. So when she talks about being a student, she is a student at the feet of the masters of this work. Of our time. Yes. My friend Deepak. Yeah. You mentioned Brene. We know. Yeah, so I I don't want to do, I don't need to name drop you all know every, everybody came to the show and I paid attention because for me, that job, the greatest benefit of that job was being paid to be exposed to new ways of thinking. And from that, I was able to over 20 years, begin to create a very robust, more leading edge spiritual life for myself. And you have. I have.